generating in-text links to Wikipedia and other web pages. Now, I have read on Wikipedia that hyperlinks are an invention that is around 40 years old. And I'm sure you will agree that they are one of the most sensitive features of the web today. No. In fact, we can probably not, not even imagine publishing content on the web without the possibility to um, direct our readers to other content. If you look at a, at a typical news article on the web today, we can see that a lot of real estate is actually devoted to this purpose. Now, we can broadly classify links that appear on this page into two categories. One are supplementary links. These are links that usually have anchors outside the main body of the text. Uh, well, let's say in the sidebar or on the floating body or maybe somewhere below the text. These links uh, usually point to pages that contain related content like articles on the same topic or from the same author and they're usually um, used to guide the reader to other content after uh, he or she has finished reading the content on the current page. On the other hand, we have in-text links uh, on which I will be focusing on this talk and these links have anchors inside the main body of the text and they are usually used to uh, provide more in-depth more in more in uh, coverage of certain uh, concepts or phrases that appear in the text like explanation for words that the readers may not be familiar with or for example links to background knowledge that may be needed to understand the current article like previous articles in a series or something like that. Uh, now, th these links are convenient for this, for this purpose because they do not require a reader to focus their attention away from the text they're reading, right? So, the importance of these links is also getting um, ever greater. This, this is not surprising since you know the daily production of three-letter acronyms and brand names is get, is really increasing exponentially in like these last years. For example, if we if we look at an example here, the word Puma in this otherwise technical article may mean any sorts of things. Now, usually you can from the context you can quickly discard the the meanings that are obviously wrong, right? Like the uh, name of the animal or some brand of shoes and so on. But even if we limit ourselves to the, just the uh, information technology field, the word Puma may, may refer to some hardware uh, platform or robot or even a version of Mac OS X, right? So, uh, it's worth, worth mentioning here that uh, one of the most popular destinations of such explanatory links is Wikipedia, uh, which is not su surprising, of course, because uh, Wikipedia articles are usually in one of the top 10 Google hits for such common words, right? So, uh, now, these links, this links, links like that are usually created manually. Um, if you, this is usually the one of the most uh, boring parts of pub publishing content. Now, if you if you've ever, ever published a blog or something like that, you probably know that. Although, on if you're editing article on Wikipedia, this is um, a bit easier, right? So, the obvious um, part is that if you, if you would have a system that would create such link automatically, then it would make writing content more fun if you're a blogger, or you can, it can make you more productive if you're a professional author. Um, this is, it's not surprising then that a lot of research has already been done on the field of automatic hypertext generation. Now, most of this, uh, most, of, most of current approaches focus on the on the choice of link destination. Like they start with a with a collection of this of of pages that can form potential link destination. Then they calculate an, a a some kind of a similarity measure between the text they're analyzing uh, in the most simple case like keyword search and then they link to the, to the top most similar uh, articles they find in their collection. Now, these approaches have seen great, great success in generated supplementary links but for in-text links the choice of the link anchor is at least as important as the choice of link destination right? because 
uh, in in-text links, the anchors are the only piece of information that the reader has from which he, he must de deduct um, whether the link destination is interesting to him. You also have a lot less freedom when choosing the link anchor because it can only be chosen from the, from the um, content of the page, right? So, this has led us to develop a new method for, for generating links which instead focuses on link anchor selection. We also start with a, with a collection of potential link destinations, in this case also uh, Wikipedia articles. Uh, now, we make, we make an additional assumption and say that each destination page presents a single concept or single semantic entity. Now, from Wikipedia pages, this includes a majority of pages that um, represent a single, you know, ex you exclude list of lists of things and stuff like that. Now, for each such entity, we generate one or more aliases. Alias is a string that can be used, potentially used as an anchor for a link to this entity. Now, because of the ambig ambiguity of the language I mentioned before, uh, one alias can point to more than one entity. Now, how do we generate these aliases? Of course, the most obvious way is to use the, the title of the page you're linking to, right? But the most abundant source, at least in Wikipedia, is the, is, are the anchor text of existing links in the, in, the, in the wiki. Like if some page includes a link to the page computer that has an anchor machine, then we use the word machine as an alias for the concept of computer. We also parse the, the disambiguation pages and uh, link redirects, uh, page redirects. If you look at an example here, you can see that this, that this method, with this method we gather most of the ways you can refer to the concept of computer in English language. What's more, we also gather a great deal of cultural knowledge that is, that is uh, present in Wikipedia texts. We get uh, aliases like boxen and comp and host, machine. Uh, these are all terms that are used to refer to this concept in, you know, uh, interest groups, hackers, and so on. Uh, you can see another feature, and that is we also, since text in Wikipedia contains typographical errors, we also gather a, a number of a number of such errors in the list of aliases and this makes, makes our system a bit um, resistant to some degree to typographical errors in the text we're, uh, we're analyzing. So we can say that it's not a bug, it's a feature. These, are all, th these two are features that are usually absent in the traditional hypertext generation uh, methods. Uh, just to give you an example of the numbers we're talking about here, the English Wikipedia um, gets us uh, approximately 2.3 million entities and, we, and around 15 million aliases the link to them. So a little bit less than 2.4 million pages that the current English Wikipedia has. Uh, 